Over the years, Hong Kong continues to be a tourist destination for many travelers, not only from the region, but also from different parts of the world. Hong Kong's eclectic vibe, exciting food scene, modern attractions, and endless shopping centers attract tourists who long to go on an adventure that is very accessible and also does not break the bank. Hong Kong is a one-stop hub for anyone who wants to experience the thrill of a modern city but also bask the beauty of nature. It's no surprise that a lot of Filipino travelers visit a city every year. But like in many Asian countries, language is something that remains a challenge for a lot of tourists when visiting Hong Kong. Language remains to be somewhat a barrier, but I believe that learning some basic Cantonese terms will already go a long way. It might not completely break the language barrier, but I believe it's gonna bend it a little to help further elevate your Hong Kong travel experience. If you are eager to learn basic Cantonese terms, you came to the right show. My name is Richard Wan and let me take you virtually to Hong Kong and teach you the beauty of its language only here on Missing Hong Kong with Richard Wan. Hello everyone and welcome to our very first episode and thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be super exciting because it's going to be about learning and discovering. With the current situation going on, traveling for leisure is still not yet possible. So the Hong Kong Tourism Board actually launched a campaign called 100 Reasons to Miss Hong Kong. The campaign aims to bring Hong Kong in the comfort of your own home. That's why we're doing this today. I'm going to take you to many exciting places in Hong Kong virtually, plus I'm going to teach you some basic Cantonese words. And to make this a little bit more fun, I invited my friend to join us. She's also very eager to visit Hong Kong again and learn some Cantonese words for her next trip. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome my dear friend, Benine Bautista! Hello, Benine! Hi! How are you? My God, it's been so long since I last saw you. Pero di pa tada kita this year ever. Oo nga eh, parang last year pa. Tapos ni ko na din maalala kung ano yung ginawa natin. Basta ang tagal na nung Grabe, papi. October na yun di pa tada kita. My God, kulog lang tayo sa bahay yata. Ikaw ba na sa kulog lang sa bahay or do you go out ba? Oh, it all sobrang board na board na parang gusto ko nang lumabas pero alam mo yun, TSTS. Oh my god. <laughs> Kana ba you last travel mo? Last travel. I think ano pa, last year pa din or before pandemic. Oh my god, ganun din nga ako eh. The That's last close. time I I mean my last trip, I don't know, the last time I flew back here I still remember very vividly was January 2. And that was from Hong Kong. And speak of Hong Kong, when was the last time you were there? Last time, I think with um, Kuya Will and Ate Alodia, nung pumunta kami sa Disneyland. Yun yung last. Last year pa yan. Pero thrice na ako naka- Oo, pero thrice na ako naka-visit ng Hong Kong. Max na ba? Pero yung unang-unang beses mo, sino kasama mo dun? First time with friends and for work siya. Tapos sumunod with my family kasi yun yung first ever out of the country namin ng buong fam. Wow. Yun pinaghirapan ko, inipon ko talaga yun. Mm-hmm. Yun yung treat ko sa kanila. That was the second wow. time. Kasi I love Hong Kong talaga yung vibes for lalo na sa mga bata kung ano, mga mga kapatid, pamangkin, ayan. Punta kami, Disneyland. Ayan. So, <laughs> what is your favorite spot na ba sa, sa dabing mong napunta na, na lugar sa Hong Kong? Siguro sa amusement park talaga. I think sa Ocean Park, doon talaga ako pinaka nag-enjoy. Actually, thrice na ata. Every time pupunta ako doon, <laughs> I must visit. <laughs> Kasi gusto ko yung medyo mountain, mountain, tapos mga rides nila, uh, mga yung UK cable car. car. Ayan. Daba, uh, daba. I love it. And speaking of favorite spots, syempre, before we proceed naman to the Cantonese tutorial, babi, yeah, let me share with you some of the must-see places if you are in Hong Kong and there are these are like my, 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 my favorite sp- uh, spots and I could attest that you will definitely appreciate the beauty of Hong Kong even when you visit these places again and again and again okay, uh, all right let's check out our first spot which I will show you and this is this these are the spots that is perfect for shopping for mga affordable items Hong Kong is known for its night markets. These markets will never run off affordable and interesting finds. Some of the popular centers are like sa Temple Street Night Market, sa Fa Yun Street. These are, but dapat mga ganun na 
night market the super super daming ba cute the stuff na pwedeng mahanap dahil hindi mo pa trabahanap siya sa Philippines. Have you ever been to these night markets ba? Oh, actually kapag ano, pag uuwi na, yung pauwi na mga last day mo na, hahanap ka talaga ng maraming yung mga mura para pa sa lubo oh, kasi wow. mga Pinoy, ayan, katulad ka sa brand Pinoy na Pinoy. Eh maghahanap talaga ng pasal pasalubo. Nandiyan pati lolot, lola, kapit bahay, kabarangay, lahat may pasalubo kaya dapat murang-mura talaga, no. <laughs> Huwag naman baka mahal masyado, di ba na-afford muna for now? Uh, dapat mo. <laughs> Alright, so for the next spot that I have to show you naman, of course, are the spots where you will find savory street foods. Not just street foods, but let's say, mga authentic Hong Kong na traditional type of food. So, here, the first place I will show you is this place called Tai Chung Bakery. Ito sa Tai Chung Bakery. It's very popular in Central in Hong Kong. Kasi... Sobrang tagalin history nila. They make really, really good egg tarts. Have you ever tried egg tarts, Padilay? Egg tarts, maybe here only, pero sa Hong Kong, I'm not sure. Kasi yung egg, tar egg tarts labi dun sa Hong Kong, it's a very different type of egg tarts. So, you will not try something better than Hong Kong egg tarts because we're known for that in Hong Kong. So next time, you guys have to remember that place called Tai Chung Na Egg Tart Place. It's super good. It's a bakery. It has different types of stuff. And then, of course, we have the mga mga tusok-tusok, mga mga fishball. Fishball, super sikat din sa Hong Kong. And dun sa Causeway Bay naman, there's a place there where it's perfect. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what the name is of that place, but dun sa Causeway Bay, there's a spot where you will just... It's been there to, It's there 24, almost 24-7. It's been there for the last 20 years. Or 30 years or 40 years, ever since I was a kid, agenda yan, and everyone buys street food there then. Eh, I think na na vlog ko na ata siya. Na vlog ko ata si Hong Kong street food. Ah. I'm not sure. But I think nag vlog ako dun, pero sure ako na nagpunta ako dun. Kasi kasama din yun sa tour namin. Alright, so if you're in Hong Kong, Badina, syempre, after you know, having so much good food and everything, at night naman, you might want to party with some of your friends. So this spot is the best spot to party, and I will tell you, it's called Lat Kwai Fog. Ayah, nakita mo adabig tao, de ba? So bro, adabig bars. Alam mo parang nakita ko nyan sa movie. Yo, ano? Which one? Hello, 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 love good. You hello, love goodbye. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. That's where Alden worked. That Lat Kwai Fog area. One of the bars that he worked at was there, and. And I, dun ba sila na meet ni Catherine? Yeah, I think. Dun nga yata, kaya ano, sobrang nag, naalala ko. Kaya pala sobrang familiar sa akin. Yun pala yun, si Alde. Yes. yes. Pero ikaw, nakapunda ka na dyan. Nakaparty ka na dyan sa Hong Kong. Hindi <laughs> pa. More reasons to go back. <laughs> ayan, ayan. That's one more reason to the hundred reasons to go back to Hong Kong. <laughs> Because right? yes. like to be honest, Hong Kong Hong Kong's party scene is actually one of the best in the world. I've, if I'm not mistaken, they've been voted um, as one of the best places to party or one of the best uh, bars or clubs in Hong Kong. It's there. Kaya malit yung lugar, pero yung vibes eh, na, na, na super na enjoy mo talaga. So sure, after let's say a whole night of partying or let's say a whole weekend of partying, we would want to sure detox then the bad content, which is why I'll show you the the best spots for a nature trip. And here, kasi sa Hong Kong. You always think that Hong Kong is all about the concrete jungles, all the skyscrapers, all the shopping, all the food. So actually, the one, so most Filipinos think that that's it. Eh. There's a nature side to it in Hong Kong. So here, the ones uh, Hong Kong, as you can see, this is what we call the Dragon Back Trail, and it's super nice place. You can see the beautiful view, so much nature, so much windy, so much sun up, and I'm sure by the para sa three trips mo na yan, hindi ka pa nakapunta dyan. Baka di mo ba alam na may ganun eh, di ba? Oo, actually wala akong idea. Kaya nagugulat ako. Akala ko, ang dami ko nang napuntaan sa Hong Kong. Parang, uy, tatlong beses na ako nagpunta doon. Ngayon, ang dami ko na napuntaan. Pero grabe, ang dami pa pala talaga na hindi ko alam. Kahit yung ano knowledge lang, wala talaga akong idea. Buti nakausap kita, Papi. <laughs> Ayan. Diba? Diba? Like I said, in Hong Kong, not only that, we also have like a Lantau Trail, we have a Lama Island where you can go biking, and there's also the countryside where you can go get some really fresh seafood. So, so many can do in Hong Kong that I don't know the majority of the people because all they think is shopping. 
kain, <laughs> shopping, kain, and then party din. Pero di nila abay ba nature-nature din kami dun sa Hong Kong. So, next time when we go, another reason to go back to Hong Kong, diba? To see Ayan, all the stuff. Ayan, tama, tama. <laughs> so, I'm sure you are super pumped right now to go to Hong Kong again. So, but now that you know all these places, I think it's time for you to learn some Cantonese phrases para makakala ng tao, baka local ka pag adjunct ka, di ba? <laughs> Are you ready for this tutorial, Madinay? Yes, of course! I'm so pumped! <laughs> Ayun! <laughs> Alright, buddy, nice. So, our virtual map of Hong Kong will show you different locations. So, I will teach you some Cantonese terms based on the locations that you will choose. Alright, so let's check out the virtual map. Ayan. Ayan, oh. May pa-map pa tayo dito, di ba? <laughs> uh? <laughs> Okay, okay. I choose, I choose. I think the restaurant because, you know, I'm an owner of a restaurant. I want to know the language it is in the other countries. No? Yun! Galing, galing. Restaurant yung napili mo. So, anong gusto mo ma- matuto sa, ano, sa restaurant? I mean, things can be like, um, what do you want to order? Um, okay. Let's split the bill. Parang ganun. I'll teach you some of the medyo slang-ish the way. Ah. Para, para kala lang tao na local ka. Okay, sige. Uh, maybe... My order is... Yan. S- sample. My order my is, is shomai. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, let's say... Ito, andito na yung waiter. Roleplay tayo. So, okay. the waiter will ask, Is your ID but yeah? So that means what do you want to order? So ne, that means what do you want to order? Yeah, that's the sabida order. Okay. You waiter, okay. pala. So you do this is a bit more. Oh, sir, I. Oh, sir, I. No. Oh, sir, I no. Ano? <laughs> ano sir, I? So by so by, no, sir, I. No, sir, I. Ay, pwede, pwede, pwede. So that just means I want to order or I want to no. ask for. No, sir, and then you list what you want to order. No, sir, okay, okay. Uh, roll okay, so, roll so you suggest okay, so but okay. So when what so when we're in Hong Kong, it's the lag. So I'll teach you another word. It's called liko. Which means this. Which means this. Okay. So when you're in a restaurant, it, what will happen is uh, the waiter will ask you, "Is your guy tea but yeah?" Okay. Uh, liko, 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 liko. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you are right. That is that is what most people do when they go to Hong okay. Kong. Liko, 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 liko. <laughs> but let's let's add the value that na tu- natuto ko sa yung to start. No, so okay, I'm okay. Okay, you ask again. You ask again. Okay, okay. Uh, siu te lei song ngai ti mat ye ya. ngai shou mai. In Hong Kong, it's called siu mai. Siu mai. Ngo sen ngai siu mai. Ayan. And then, and then, you say liko, 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 liko. Liko, 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 everything liko. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, one more time, one more time, one more time. Okay. Siu te, lei song ngai ti mat ye ya. Lei song ngai si yu mai. Liko, liko, water, liko. Galing, 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 galing. That's very good. That's a, we're off to a very good start. Ayan, ayan, tama okay. yan, tama yan. Alright, next tayo, next tayo. Isa pa. Okay. Um, I think I will be a current today. Where is You'll the manager? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be okay. Okay. Can um, I speak to the manager? Okay. Like you okay, like calling? Huh? Actually, break it down. Break it down. Okay. I know. I know. So, lay, Q, ko, lay, Q, ko, lay, Q, ko, king, lay, king, lay, ko, lay. Ay yan. Okay, now, now with with feelings, galit kay kasi mali yung order eh. So, sasabihin mo sa waiter. Like you okay ngay Okay, okay. Lights, camera, action. Like you cooking like Kolei. 
גלג, 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 דאבה, דאבה. All right, so let's go for another category. Um, ano naman, ako, so street market. Yon, okay, street market. Okay, let's go. Um, okay. Ano, how much? Pina basic. Okay, because ano, madali lang to. Eighteen. Or pag nakita mo yung, tinda, uh, yung, mga na, yung nakabenta na babae siya, sabi mo, Wei Lang Loy, K-10. Wei Lang Loy, K-10. Ayan. So pala, kasi Lang Loy means, hey, beautiful. Or pag gwapo naman, <laughs> hey, Lang Tsai, K-10. <laughs> Lang Loy, like, ha. Ano nga yun sa lalaki, Papsi? Lang Tsai. Lang Tsai, K-10. Ayan, no, yes. Oh wait, pero but if you say it that way, you have to make sure that you say it na tinuturo mo yung item. Kasi pag sabi mo, wait lang, say k it means, hey, guapo, magkano ka? <laughs> <laughs> so dapat may, con- dapat, may, dapat may context tayo. Okay, okay. So parang like, wait lang, say, liko k it Ayan, ito lang, liko k it Liko k it Liko k it Liko k Yeah. Boy, lay long. Tama, parang gano'n. Kaitin. Leg tight, leg tight. Pag-wapo, leg tight. Leg tight, kaitin. Yeah. <laughs> yes, liko, kaitin. Ayan, good. Okay, what's your next one? Pag ano naman, tatawad. Siyempre, mahilig tayo tumawad. Parang, madiscount po. Ayan, ito ba dali lang daw? Sabi mo lang, heg tila. Hag tila. Hag tila. Hag tila. Ayan, pwede. So you always say leg tight or leg low because it's always like parang a way to flatter there. Parang, parang sip-sip ka. Hag tila leg low. Ay, hag tila leg tight. Kuwar ako yung ano? Kuwar ako yung taka, taka bed ka. Lights, camera, action! Hag tila leg tight. Oh, hola, 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 hola. Ayan! Cut! <laughs> Alright, buddy night for our very last category. Ano ang pipili mo dito? So, nag-shopping tayo, kumain na din tayo. So, ano pa ba pwede natin gawin? Siguro, syempre, sa gabi, magbabar naman tayo. <laughs> Ayan! Okay, let's go to the bar then. So, pag sa bar naman tayo, ano mga terms na piling mo na kailangan mo gamitin? Or that you need to know? Siguro pag ano, pag meron ako nakilala, syempre makikipagkaibigan ka. Eh, can I buy you a drink? Okay. Eh, uh, how do you say you want to buy someone a drink? Ito sasabihin mo na parang, O cheng lai yam ye a? Ngo cheng lai yam ye a? Ngo Ngo cheng lai yam ye Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now now with a little bit of lande naman. A little bit of lande. Kasi you made a new friend, di ba? Okay, okay. Lights, camera, action! Naglalakad na. Ngo, seng lei, yao mie. Ayan! Pwede! Cut! Okay, okay, okay. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's good for the first word. Okay. All right, so since kanina, you know, you said that um, you're going to buy someone a drink. And then now naman, ano next step dyan pag after na, ano? Ano ba gusto mo matuto next? Siguro ano na lang, um, what's your name kapag gusto ko siyang makilala, ganun? Ayan, okay. Pangalala. Ah, gusto mo matanong kung anong pangalan niya, okay. Lake you memeng. Lake you memeng. Yes, ayan. So Lake you, you always wa- you can always add lang tsai at the end because that means oi pogi, anong pangalan mo? Parang ganoon. Lights. Camera action. Lake you memeng. Lang tsai. <laughs> and cut! <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay, that's good, that's good. That is like you, bye bye, lights. Oh, lande ah, medyo lande, lande dyan. Baka may magalit dyan, baka may magalit. <laughs> okay, lande <laughs> na. 
Okay, so oh. how'd you find the whole tutorial today? Ano? Liko, 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 liko. <laughs> so, yeah, yan ba your favorite word mo natunan today? Liko, liko? Yeah, I, I think. Liko, liko, lang tai. Ayan. <laughs> That's good already. That's good already. I think it's very important for you, like, you know, to know some words, especially when you're going to Hong Kong. Kasi at least na practice mo na siya, and people will feel. Kasi alam mo naman parang tayo sa Pinoy din, eh. you know, when someone can speak Tagalog, natutuwa tayo, di ba? Lalo na pag hindi mo na expect sila. So parang ganun din sa Hong Kong. So if you can say words like Lang Tsai, Lang Loy, Liko, Liko, matutuwa na sila dyan. <laughs> Yes. That's it for today's episode. I hope you guys learned a thing or two from our tutorial and enjoyed our virtual tour of Hong Kong. And is there anything that you want to say to our viewers, Maliday? Ayon, thank you so much. Sa lahat na nanood, sa lahat ng um, yan tumuto hanggang ngayong dulo. And thank you so much. Don't forget na um, magfollow sa amin dalawa ni Papshi ni Richard Wans, sa aming mga social media accounts. Ayan, Papshi, after this conversation with you, sobrang na-miss kita, pero mas na-miss ko ang Hong Kong. Na-miss ko pumunta sa Hong Kong and I think pupunta talaga ako doon sa bar para magamit ko naman yung Leng Tsai. Gusto, gusto ko pumunta doon <laughs> sa ano. Yeah, yeah. At saka yung liko, 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 liko. <laughs> yeah. Because after this episode, ako, I know, ano? siyempre, no? I know for you, you know, you're super excited to go back. Ako din, my God, na miss ko din yung what I call Hong Kong, kasi dun na yung bahay ko. So of course, so a lot of the viewers out there, I'm sure there's hundred reasons or more to miss Hong Kong. And thankfully, you know, we can all see this through a virtual experience for now. But sana talaga once everything is over, once it's safe to fly around, I hope me and you, Benina, and of course all our viewers out there can visit Hong Kong once again. So again, thank you all so much who joined us today and thank you Hong Kong Tourism Board for collaborating with me to bring Hong Kong to so many Filipinos. And once again, my name is Richard Juan with Baninay and I see you guys very, very soon and bye-bye guys.